Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger of Comedy, I'm back with another Dokkan Battle video. And in today's video, I just want to quickly tell you guys how you can get all seven of the Purunga Dragon Balls for Global's Thank You Celebration Purunga campaign. And just like previous Purunga campaigns in the past, you can only get one new Dragon Ball per day from the beginning of the campaign. So today is the first day and we can collect the first ball, but we can't collect any of the other ones yet. And then tomorrow, we can get the second ball, Today after that, we get the third ball, and so on and so forth, until the seventh day, where we can collect the seventh and final ball, and summon Purunga, make our wishes, and get some awesome rewards. Now, if you guys do miss days in between, it's all good, because uh, you can collect them retroactively, but you can't collect them early if the day hasn't come yet, all right? So, uh, let's go down here to the clues, as well as the ways to get them. And we're gonna start with today. So the first clue that you guys will see in the in-game news right now is how do I use gift cards? And that's for the one-star Dragon Ball. And to get that, you just have to recruit a character with a Dokkan Thank You Celebration gift card, which we all should have gotten in our gift boxes when we first logged in. So just use that in the Baba Shop and trade it for a character and you will get the first uh, Dragon Ball or the one-star Dragon Ball. And then tomorrow, which is November 12th at reset, we'll get the second clue which says try your hand at lots of events and Dokkan events and all you have to do is consume 77 stamina and once you do that, you'll get the second Dragon Ball and then the day after that, which is November 13th, it says try your hand at a brand new story event and the only new story event we're getting for part one at least is the copy Vegeta or duplicate Vegeta story event. So just clear stage one of the new duplicate Vegeta or copy Vegeta story event on normal or Z hard and you'll get your third Dragon Ball. And then for day four, which would be the 14th, the clue will be the scouter had an abnormal reaction. <laughs> and for this one, just tap the scouter on the top right corner of the summon screen. So just go over to the summon screen and click on the scouter for any banner, I'm pretty sure. And uh, once you do that, then you will also get the 4-star Dragon Ball. And then for the 5-star Dragon Ball, which would be the 15th now, uh, it says an amazing bean. Eating, <laughs> eating just one can stave off starvation for 10 days. And uh, this one's pretty simple. Clear a stage using the support item Senzu Bean. So bring a Senzu Bean with you as one of your support items. Use it during the uh, stage. And once you clear it, you'll get your 5-star Dragon Ball. And then for day 6, the clue will be win a battle after collecting lots of AGL key spheres. And to do to get this ball, just collect seven blue key spheres and clear the stage. Uh, by the way, this does not include Extreme Z battle. So if you run an Extreme Z battle stage and try this, it's not gonna work. And then on the seventh day for the seventh and final Dragon Ball you need to summon Purunga, the clue will be look out for Dragon Balls hidden in banners on the home screen and it's not really a clue it just kind of tells you what to do so uh, go to your home screen you know where your character wheel is like where your team is you can like um, scroll through them and stuff like that go to the bottom of the screen where the banners are and just flip through them and you'll find one with uh, either a dragon ball on it it's probably gonna be dragon balls on it but i've seen in the past it's like stars and stuff like that so just just look for a weird looking banner that usually isn't there click on it and you will get your seventh and final ball. And once you do that, go over to uh, the place where you normally summon Shenron and you can summon Purunga there and you'll be able to select three of the following seven wishes. All right, the first one is I want gift cards, which gives you two of the thank you celebration gift cards to exchange for characters in the Baba shop. The second one is I want to power up super attacks. So you get three of each type of Grand Kai. The third one is I want to activate hidden potential so you get a lot of orbs. The fourth one is I want to be filthy rich so you get a lot of Hercule statues. Um, this one is I want to strengthen allies so a lot of awakening medals, training items, and also training locations. The sixth one is I want treasures which gives you 777 incredible gems. And finally I want support items which gives you support items. So there you go guys, those are the wishes. That is how you get all of the balls. And um, I would personally recommend everybody go for the orbs, the Kai's, and the last one's kind of up to you. A lot of people probably have all the units um, in the pool either duped out or like close to it. But if you are missing a lot of those units then definitely go for the gift cards. If not, then 
Um, this one's actually not a bad choice. You get 30 gravity chambers and 100 of each sword, 50 of each of the platinum turtle shells, and a bunch of also, uh, metals as well. So this is actually a really good wish. Um, Incredible gems is not a bad choice either, but I personally, for me, I would go for orbs, kais, and probably the strengthening allies wish, just because I already have most of the thank you gift card pool like completely rainbowed right so that's me but like i said if you guys are missing a lot of those units then that's not a bad wish either so that's gonna do it for today's video like i said we can collect the first ball today on november 11th and then tomorrow's the second ball and so on and so forth so if you can't get the other balls then it might be because um the day hasn't come yet or possibly uh, there's a very low chance that Bandai decides to change some of these clues and some of the ways to get the balls, which I guess is a possibility. It has happened in the past. So if that does end up happening, then I'll make sure to put a correction in the pinned comment down below. So definitely go check that out. If there is a pinned comment, that is. And uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what your wishes are going to be. And as always, if you guys like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.